Hi everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5. Here we are on U46 once again on a continuing our adventure and we have a contact straight away on the horizon. So it's pitch black, gamma's turned up slightly, well quite a lot actually so you can actually see it. Um, it's, it is absolutely pitch black, let me tell you that. I'll try and enhance it even more in the video editing so you may see a little bit of things but um, yeah, it's, it's so dark. Right, so let's have a look at this contact. Where is he? Uh, oh, all the way over here. Hang on. There we go. There he is. Right. I have absolutely no idea what that is from here. The distance is a little bit too great. It's a freighter, and it's red, so it means it's a hostile freighter. Um, but apart from that, I don't know. Uh, what we may need to do is get a little bit closer and that's exactly what we've done so it's an Icelandic uh, freighter uh, we're just gonna set up a shot on it here go down to its keel make sure the magnetic detonation is on okay fire Nice, great shot. She is gone straight away. Um, so that is that is a real plus. That's really efficient. That is one shot, one kill. I liking that. That's a lot better from our previous uh, ability. Uh, there she is. Lovely. So what was she? She was an, a UKL medium composite for four thousand and forty-one tons. Nice. See the uh, lifeboat crew rowing away from the uh, the ship they don't get sucked down when she goes under nice right um, so we've killed that um, between Ireland and the tip of Wales um, still not being added to our tally which is really annoying uh, so we'll continue on see if we can find these mysterious ships and I'll bring you back at the next significant event Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so I've been chasing a contact which has turned out to be a freighter and she's heading in to what appears to be the harbour here um, in Ireland. So uh, we have been chasing her in. You can see where we've done the kills previously. Um, so I've been all the way around and now we've coming in. Now just as we're following her into the harbour, whoops, um, there's a couple of destroyers um, on the thing. This is Cork Harbour. Uh, as you can see we've got a a British and what appears to be a, uh, a neutral destroyer or a warship anyway so we're gonna check on them and I've literally been spending 40 minutes chasing this freighter here so um, I'm gonna try and sink both of them because <laughs> why not uh, it's been a real struggle so far uh, so we'll probably have to move into position to have a look at this destroyer and then once she's out of the way we should be okay to um, have a clear run on that um, cargo ship. The cargo ship appears to have stopped uh, in the in the channel mouth there, so that's okay. So if we go to there, the range will be yeah just over a thousand meters, so that'll be easy shot, and then we can set up a shot for the uh, the merchant ship here. So um, so this is the Cork Harbour, and it's massive, isn't it? So 
Um, yeah, does it actually have like a, a stone harbour? I don't see one. They normally depict it on there with key sides and stuff and warehouses. It doesn't appear to have one. It's just an inland kind of um, sheltered cove by the looks of it. So. Right then. Well, we'll press on and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back, here we are. Um, that is... Okay, so that's the British destroyer. That is the Irish destroyer? It looks like a an armoured trawler by the looks of it. Is that the best island can do? Come on, island. Honestly, no wonder they were neutral. <laughs> They're not going to go to war in a trawler, are they? Goodness me. Anyway, this is our target. We're going to get this um, destroyer cleaned out. Um... Don't really need to do that. It's standing stationary for heaven's sake, so uh, it should be an easy shot into her. Um, she's going to be quite shallow, so we'll go quite shallow with the old torpedoes. We've got uh, steam in three, so we'll go to three. But it's as fast. It'd be nice to get a shot just under the um, funnel and the guns, so we could, got a good chance of hitting a boiler. Or the magazines. Okay, nice. She's gone as well. And she was a Class A destroyer for 1188 tons. Nice. Another one shot, one kill. Although that was slightly easy because it's stationary. We're going to leave the Irish trawler, warship, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to reposition to find the merchant ship, which is here somewhere. Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. So we'll do some positioning and I'll get a better shot on her. Let's just sort this out. Yeah. Cool. Well, we position and I'll see you in a short while. Okay, here we are. We've moved, maneuvered into position, and we're setting up a nice shot. Um, it's difficult to make her out actually because of the trees behind it. I can't make out the uh, the masts and the the funnels and everything. It's 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 a great bit of camouflage. So we're just going to go for a random depth. Uh, what we got? We've got steam in three. And got acoustic in the others. Um, don't really need to line up a shot too much, but if we can get it kind of near the bridge, uh, we'll drop it down to about there. A random average. Fire.
Ooh, yeah, three in a row. One shot, one kill. Lovely. She is, uh, yes, a UKEL medium composite for 3,948 tons. Nice. Good. Right. Um, that's uh, not been added. <laughs> no surprises there. Uh, so we've done all these, and we've got, had no luck at all. Um, I'm probably going to go around the harbour, see if there's anything interesting in there. Um, and then it'll probably come out if there isn't. I'll bring you back as soon as we uh, we do that. But for now, uh, I'll just plot my course in there, and I'll bring you back in the next event. Hi everyone, welcome back, get a breath of fresh air. What a beautiful morning, eh? What an absolute beautiful morning. And we have two ships. Unfortunately, they're Spanish. And I won't go into how many blooming neutral ships I have been chasing around. Millions of them. There's nothing here. We've nothing in the port. Came all the way back down here chasing these contacts and they're bloody Spanish. Um, we've got ooh, um, a number of destroyers over there. Uh, so we'll kind of not go anywhere near that way and one down there so right I'm having no luck finding anything um, really frustrating it's been everything seems to be on the other side of the country but we'll press on because that's what we do and hopefully we'll find something eventually fingers crossed Welcome back everyone, finally, finally after much time, look at that, not only is it a British ship, it's a target and it's a tanker. Now we are looking for tankers which are coming up from the south, so this could be it, this could be it, this could be our first kill with the actual mission parameters, this would be amazing. Right, uh, what am I doing, let's get the targeting on, let's identify here, thank you for the save game. What does she look? She's a beautiful looking ship, isn't she? Uh, no, that's not that. Nope. No, the front's wrong. No. Hmm. Yes, I think. Maybe. Cimarron. Looks like the best option, I think. And behind us we have some little... Uh, little ship or something. Right, so we got three acoustics and a... Uh, and that one electric there. So, if we can fire that wakeless one into her, she won't even see it coming. And she won't have any avoiding action, because obviously tankers are our favourite targets here. Um, let's just get the depth sorted to about there. It's a lovely calm day, so we don't have to worry about that. And she does seem to be sitting quite heavy in the water, so she's fully loaded by the looks of it. It's far there. Fingers crossed. Eyes are skitting between the actual crosshairs and the map. Yeah, it's going to be good hits. Hopefully it's going to be just under the bridge. Or just behind the bridge. Oh! Oh, we split her in two. Look at that. Wow! That is going to be one ecological disaster right here. All that oil will be pouring out. Goodness me, that was a good hit. Look at that smoke. Wow. Right, what was she? She was a cinnamon class tanker for 7,600 tons. Nice! 
Fingers crossed, everyone. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Oh, come on. Ah. I don't think there are any strategic war supply ships out here. I would have found them by now. I've been doing this for months. Right. We got a little freighter going, oh, good God, that just blew up. Did it hit a mine? Are there torpedoes from a submarine in the area? They're probably worrying about both. Right, let's see what she is. Um, okay. So she's got two little funny masts and a th tall, thin funnel just behind the bridge. Um, no. Um, that looks like a candidate. Maybe the funnel's a little short. That one's got a more similar funnel. We'll go with that one, I think. The old wrongle. Uh, and see uh, if we get that hopelessly wrong later. But it doesn't matter, right. So let's get this acoustic selected. Um, we'll get... It's got a fixed speed by the looks of it. We may need to... Oh, this this wreck might cause a bit of an interference. We'll set the depth. Fire there. And I'm hoping this ship will turn in front of the... Uh, the that's what, what my guess would be. No, she's stopping. Oh, you bugger. She's going behind. Oh, she missed by millimetres. Why on earth did the acoustic not pick up the uh, the engine? Were we too close? Right, we'll go with um, a non-acoustic then. And we'll... She's not moving. Well, she's moving incredibly slowly. So let's target the rear. Let's give it a little bit of leeway so it doesn't hit the back of the freighter underwater. Fire. Unbelievable, that missed as well. She pushed the, the the sinking ship on full chat engines to get dodged that torpedo. Incredible. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I thought she was going to be stuck there. But she gunned it. Well played to her captain. Although he's frustrating me. Well played, sir. Well played. Right, let's try and get line this up. Um, so this, is, look, this is the electric one, I think. So, what's the speed? Do you know what the ship doesn't? Uh, it doesn't seem to be going fast enough for its, for the predicted um, elements there. Let's select it. Oh, it's the acoustic one then. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's an electric. We're okay. Um, the the ship doesn't seem to be going that fast, and yet the the speed predictions on the the placements the way to fire. Seem a little bit long. Maybe I'm just misjudging it, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, God. After, what was it? Three fantastic shots. In, well, I say fantastic shots. Two ships were actually stationary. Um, after all those one hit kills, this one has been a bugger. I'm going to surface and get the deck gun yes. on her. I've had enough. Wasted too many torpedoes. Right, let's just go forward. Prepare for course change. Prepare for course change. Get the guns ready. 
throw everything at her. Let's get this map out of the way. Returning to course. Okay, we only got four torpedoes in the front now. God, what a waste. Oh well. Uh, grab yourself a tin hat. Grab yourself an MG. Let's head up. Oh, hang on. Get your foot on the railings. We'll be okay. Uh, just got to wait for the uh, conning tower to crest through the, uh, the surface. There we go. We can get up now. Somehow DTA came out for his secret entrance. So did the rest of the crew. Uh, we'll get the periscope down. And we'll navigate these tricky stairs. Oh, please. There we go. And the... The boys with the wet feet on the old deck gun. Good stuff. Right. It's nice to be back on the deck gun. After so long without. Okay. Almost point blank. Put some holes along the old uh, water line. we got armor piercing, which creates quite a small hole in the actual hull. But, you, you know, you make enough of them and it's like death by a thousand cuts. Trying to get some shots into the bridge so they stop doing any radio transmissions to let any patrols or any uh, Royal Navy escorts in the area know of our presence at our location. Trying to get some shots. Oh, God, I'm missing it badly here. There we go. Try and get some shots into the rear, get that on fire. Now, just keep the map up just so we can see when she goes bang. So we don't waste any further ammo. Trying to get it into the, the boiler room under the funnels and trying to get the front on fire as well. Just having a bit of fun with the guns. Alright, try and get the rudder and the uh, propellers. Knock them out and then she's pretty much dead. Give her a second. Is she going to die? No, nope, she wants a bit more by the looks of it. I can certainly oblige. Boom. Have it. Going a bit lower. Back to the waterline. And there she is. She is gone. One more for luck. Ooh, and kaboom. You can see the crew bailing out to the rear. Lovely. Good shooting, boys. You'll have to stay on the gun because uh, DT is injured and I can't get you to stand down. But um, what was that? It wasn't a rungle. It was a SV small modern composite for 1982 tons. Nice. Nope, didn't add. Are we surprised? Not really. Anyway, we're going to make a move. I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for joining us on this part of our adventure. Um, we're going to continue on and try and find these tricky little ships, which seem to be eluding us. Um, and we need to try and figure out how we can get something which will tally on the total totalizer. So, um, yeah, we'll press on, and I'll see you next time.